So I'm out in my local woods today with my tarp and my new ridgeline system. It's a tightening system to get the tarp ridgeline taut. Not the tarp taut, but the ridgeline taut. Most people will tie a knot or loop to the first tree, come to the second tree and go around and around and over itself, round and round the tree, over itself, and then tie a knot. This is a lot easier than that. What I have made is a loop, maybe five inches, and I put a cinch toddle in that loop and tied off. Now this bit here is what is going to lock this line to the tree. So I'm going to put this underneath the actual ridge line and we're using this as the ridge line. And all I'm gonna do is put the toddle through this loop like that. And it's made a lock's head hitch like that. Now, I want to come back through this loop at least another two times. There's once, so now I have a four fist, and if I come around again, I'll have a six fist. Six fist prusik, and this is going to ensure absolute maximum grip. That toddle there, same kind of deal, but only four fists, is for my tarp. And this, where's it gone? But this here, the six fist, I'm going to lock off the line to the tree. Now, it may sound complicated, but once you see it, you'll think, why didn't I think of that? It's so simple. The loose tail, let's get it around the back of this tree here. And I'm going to tie in a Navank into here, which is quick release. And push it up to the tree. And that little tail there ensures when I pull it, it is quick release because there is a loop just behind my finger there, it's tiny. I don't make my event very big. Let's bring it over to the other tree here. Let's come behind the tree rather than me trying to reach around it so you can see what I'm doing this time. Over to the line where we put this on. Let's slide that. Now I can pull some tension and use the line that's come behind the tree to go around the toddle. Make a letter D like a loop. And let's pull a loop through that letter D to make a slip knot. And already it's holding, but it's not taut. Let's come back to this end here where that six fist is and I can just pull now all I want like a prusik so I'm pulling this cord towards the tree and the prusik away from the tree and that is taut coming back over to here this is the prusik in red with another toddle. This is only four fist and that goes through the webbing of my tarp like that. I haven't got my tarp. Yeah, I have got my tarp with me actually. I could actually put that on for demonstration.
and these are to be ignored for now these are modifications for some of my under quilts and like I said if you're confused don't be this is in its prototype phase everything is going to be neatened up with smaller kit and some of it will even be hardware free so it is at its prototype stage the only bit we're concentrating on is this section here when I want to break it down I finish camp I've undone the top from where it fits onto here where I can slide my top up and down the line I'm ready to go grab the pigtail and pull and it comes away from that prosic so I'm going to show you how we tie that again in case you're not quite with it I've come around the tree and I got the tail in my right hand so let's get some tension like that so I got my tension I want to bring the six fist quite close to the tree come around the toddle make a letter D and push a loop through my letter D now I don't want all this tail to come through otherwise it won't be quick release at the moment it's not tight enough to accept a tarp until I start pulling this prussic here away from the tree so I can just hold the line here and pull on the prussic and we have a V section here coming off the tree I can pull really tight really tight so my top is not taut but that is only because I haven't got enough length on my ridge line like I said it's just a prototype but of course should the ridge line have been the proper length about 15 meters I could slide that along to tighten up the tarp so that is the next thing I need to do obviously upgrade the actual line here and like I said I'm going to use Samson line the Dyneema probably 1.75 or 2.0 I'm guessing 2.0 I'm going to have cam claws on it instead of the toddles for the end of the tarp there and the idea of tying off at the second tree obviously I can do that with a much smaller Dyneema and a much smaller toddle but the idea is there the idea is there so how easy is it all to take down I just simply untoddle here and my top drops down there I do the same on the other tree now I can break down camp at either end either from this side here by pulling the short tail here that will release from that tree but I can do the same also coming over to this side here finding this pigtail here coming down when I pull that it releases from the toddle I can start folding this cord as I as I walk coming over to the last tree here give that a pull and we're off that tree as well now all I have to do is roll or fold or stuff the top back into its bag and put the ridge line back in now I can order that Samson line which is a climbing 
or tree fellers kind of line, Samson line. It's the thin line that is tied to the thicker line for tree felling. When you throw your bag over a tree, you throw the small line first and then pulley up your, your much bigger climbing grade rope. So that's Samson line. That is the entire gadgetry. And so far, believe it or not, that hasn't tangled. That is me done really, so I'm not out tonight. So if you're wondering why I didn't put that tarp back into its stuff sack and straight back into the pack, I can't remember where I've put the stuff sack. I'm gonna have a quick look for it. Until next time, take care of yourself. I'll see you out there. Now try the idea. It was in my pocket. See you next time.